But the beneficiary of this is the school that we're in now, the county itself, and the way that we are going to create jobs in this new economy. And, and the reason that so many people are out here, this is a win-win for not only Prince George's County, but for the state of Maryland. It once again shows the ability of bringing people together and working to go after one goal, and that is to make Prince George's County and the state, all of the state, as one, the most competitive in the region. Why is today so important? Well, we are breaking ground on broadband for Prince George's County. We are breaking ground. And it means that we're breaking new ground to ensure that Prince George's County is thought of as a high-tech hotspot in the state of Maryland. But here in Prince George's County, wow, it will mean that over 83 schools will be wired, including this wonderful one here at Sam Macy. 20 first responder facilities, meaning fire halls, emergency management, will be wired. We will be interoperable for public safety. It will go to town halls, libraries, and other places. And it also means for the private sector, there will be a broadband width, a broadband width that they can get in here, bring their jobs, bring their companies, talk to anybody in Maryland, talk to anybody in America, talk to anybody in the world saying, come on to Prince George's County, we are open for business. This is what we're doing, this is why we're fighting so hard. In your county, County Executive, you have so many strengths, you have so many assets. I think the great uh, opportunity in Prince George's County is becoming more connected. It's not that the strengths aren't here, the strengths are here. The workforce is here, the diversity is here, the institutions of higher learning, uh, places like the census that we take for granted here in, in Suitland and, and College Park and Bowie, I mean, all of the assets are here. It's a matter of becoming more connected. And here in Prince George's County, uh, the, the, um, uh, those 86 schools are, are cutting edge. In times of national emergency, we're on the front lines. Uh, U.S. Chamber of Commerce recently named Maryland in the top 10 of all 50 states for high-speed broadband availability, and they also name us among the states that are best prepared to make this new economy ours. Uh, anybody ever seen the, the Cisco commercial? I know I shouldn't use brands, but the guy walks into a classroom, and the kid's very excited and says they're, he's going on a field trip today, and the person says, where are you going? And the kid says, we're going to China, and the person and looks very confused and then you look up on the big screen similar to that and and you see a classroom of kids in China sitting there and and it's to talk about the interconnected world that we now live in however what they don't tell you is the vast majority of schools in this country and in the state of Maryland do not have the capacity to have that kind of interactive experience today but after events like this, after connecting the state, that is what's possible. And so we have the example of China, but how about the example of children in Hartford County talking to children in Montgomery County, to children in Howard County, to Baltimore City, to Prince George's County, and us all working together. And that's what this is about. And so not only from an education standpoint, but also from a uh, health standpoint, you know, we all talk about electronic medical records. It takes a lot of bandwidth to get that radiology file uh, from your doctor's office to the hospital to the center and so making so having the pipe in the ground having the access to this kind of 216 count fiber to be able to light it up at you know a gigabyte to 10 gigs gives us the ability of actually making this a reality and I just want I just want everyone to know that here in Prince George's County we say children first but we don't only say children first because of the team that Governor O'Malley was able to put together in partnership with Senator Mikulski, our, our county executive, Rashern Baker, Mr. Um, Ken Allman, the county executive from Howard County, and Dr. Height. Our children come first, but we're about action. So this is about our children. So can our children please stand? Can our children please stand that are in the audience? Would you please stand? Because this is about you. This is about you. Today is an exciting day. We are elated for our students ages 3 through 15 as they will have the wonderful opportunity to benefit from the inter-county broadband network.
It's such a blessing when I think about how the ICBN will afford the students and families at Samuel P. Massey Academy with bridging the digital divide. Many of our students do not have computers at home, therefore this project will allow them to have dynamic internet high-speed access here at school, which will permit online computer labs, internet literacy centers, shared resources, and distant learning. The students here in the county, all 127,000 of them, their opportunities should not be based upon the ability to connect or not to connect to information especially at a time when information changes so rapidly. It changes so rapidly that the, by, to, by the time we put a textbook in our student's hand, that information is already outdated. And with this new access, our students are now exposed to the type of information that will allow them to compete, not just here in the county and in the state, but across our country and across our nation. When Mr. Baker took office eight and a half months ago, he made a commitment to education, public safety, and economic development. He immediately saw the benefits and endless possibilities that this project would bring to these areas. He embraced and he supported it. The benefits for the county and its citizens are boundless. Like the railroads, telephone networks, and interstate highway system in the past, fiber optics are the critical infrastructure of today. Robust communications capabilities are essential to commerce, education, public safety, and for so many of us, connectivity to our family and friends. My name is Raheem Turner. I am an honor roll student going to the fifth grade here at Samuel Massey Academy. I participate in the basketball league preteen program and basketball camp at Suitland Community Center. I plan on being the next Dwayne Wade. I am very happy to know that broadband is being installed to give students such as myself the opportunity for fast, faster internet access. Thank you.